Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about MATLAB simulation of PV battery charger based on CETA converter. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for a notification about the upcoming video. So I am going to open the MATLAB. So this is a model developed for that MBPT Chola charger controller with this CETA converter. Okay. So here, so this is known as solar PV panel. So here we are using two parallel PV panel and then two series panel. So this is a rating of single panel. So rating is open circuit voltage is around 36.6 and then voltage at maximum power point is 30.9 and then charge circuit current is 8.75 and current at maximum power point is 8.1 and then I am going to plot EV and IV counter six of the consider panel okay so here you can see that so this is a maximum point for different irradiation condition with the, that being at uh, 25 degree celsius okay just you have to click this one that when select this and then click this one you will get the voltage and maximum power point for the thousand watts per meter square so here you can see that the maximum power is is 2000 watts right and then voltage at maximum power point is 123.6 so for different irradiation for 800 watts per meter square it is 1595 and voltage is 122.9 for 600 watts per meter square the power is maximum power is 1187 and then voltage is 122 for 400 watts per meter square the maximum power is 781.1 watts and then voltage is 120.5 and then uh, for uh, 200 watts per meter square the maximum power is 379.7 and then voltage is 117.2 volt okay so this is the pv and iv characteristics of the consider uh, pv panel So and then we have used this uh, that means CETA converter. So this is the structure of CETA converter. Okay. So this CETA converter uh, uh, drive uh, that means the MOSFET is tan and tan of based upon that solar charger controller, MPPT solar charger controller. So it receives the para that mean uh, parameter voltage and current parameter from the PV array. So and also it receive the parameter of battery. So based on based upon the PV array parameter and battery, so it will generate the pulse for a MOSFET. So it will be drive the MOSFET in order to extract the maximum power from the two PV panel as well as charge the battery. Okay. So let, let go inside that uh, solar charger controller. So here we are using uh, P and O MBPT algorithm, and then here we are using a constant voltage charging method. Okay. So it's a simulating block diagram for that uh, P and O. So here we need to measure voltage and current of the P panel, and then you have to calculate power and then you have to calculate change in power and then change in voltage by delaying that uh, power by one sample okay so after that we have to check the change in power if change in power is greater than zero next you have to check the change in voltage condition okay that means if change in power is greater than zero it will allow this input if change in power is not greater than zero, it allows this input. So after checking up this change in power, we have to come here. That means we need to check the 
change in voltage and change in voltage here right for example here if change in power is greater than zero and then next you have to check the change in voltage if change in voltage is greater than zero it allow this input right this input that means we need it decrement the duty cycle in order to extract the maximum power if change in voltage is not greater than zero it allow this input that means we have to increment the duty cycle by the amount of dt right the same case will be applied here also so after that that uh, small change in duty cycle will be added here in the feedback loop okay so here we will get the duty cycle corresponding duty cycle for that MOSFET in the CETA converter. So next you have to measure that means here we have to measure the battery parameter that means here we have to measure two parameter so one is SOC of the battery and then we have to measure the voltage of the battery okay so here you have to SOC is, uh, is compared with 100 if the SOC is uh, less than 100 we need to charge the battery so, and also you have to check the voltage level of the battery so the voltage level so you have to uh, check the voltage at the uh, cutoff voltage level that means floating voltage level right so bat so, uh, the all battery having some volt, uh, floating voltage level after uh, fully charged condition right so you have to compare that uh, uh, battery voltage with uh, that floating voltage okay if if this condition is true that means that uh, actual battery voltage is less than or equal to that uh, floating voltage of the battery then it go, going to be multiplied with that duty cycle okay so this comes here after that you check that means the here we are measuring that uh, that means comparing that soc with the 100 if it is less than 100 then it will be one so and then you have to multiply it here and then it uh, process via pdlm generator okay so it will generate the pulse for the master if condition is not true that means the uh, duty cycle is not allowed through that uh, pdlm generator to control the MOSFET of the zeta converter okay so this is a process of uh, uh, mbpd chola charger controller so after that that pdl impulse is drive that MOSFET and how to extract the maximum work okay so here in output end we are connected uh, connected 48 volt to 200 amps gauge uh, battery okay so this is the battery detail so 48 volt 200 h battery with the initial charge of 50 percentage okay and also you see that uh, battery detail the maximum capacity of the battery is 208.2 so 208.33 h and the cutoff voltage is 36 the fully charged voltage and floating voltage is, is 52.26 and the nominal discharge current it can discharge maximum 40 amps okay nominally okay and then you can draw the graph discharge graph for that particular battery so this is a, a discharge graph for that battery okay so you, here you can see that if you have to use the different kind of load if you are connecting the battery with the 6.5 amps load right so it will be discharged that means it will take a 30 hours to fully discharge right if it is you are going to connect 13 amps load right it will take around 16 hours to fully discharge if you are going to connect 32.5 amps load then it will take around 6 hours to fully discharge okay so depending upon the load current so discharging time will be decreasing here okay so this is the discharging curve for that particular battery So here we are measuring that PV volt, PV voltage, current and the PV power and also so here we are measuring that uh, PV battery and then uh, battery current and then SOC of that uh, battery. Okay. So and then the input solar PV receive two inputs, one is radiation, another is temperature. Okay. So here we are 
creating a step change in radiation that means initially the irradiation is 1000 watts per meter square after 5 seconds the irradiation will be changed to 500 watts per meter square and here the temperature is fixed at 20 degrees Celsius so here I am going to simulate this model Initially is 1000 watts per meter square radiation. So here you can see that the maximum tracking of power is around 2000 watts because already you know that for 1000 watts per meter square the maximum power is around uh, 2002 watts right. So after that after 5 seconds right irradiation is changed to uh, 500 watts per meter square right. If it is 500 watts per meter square for 600 is around uh, 1187 okay. So here you can see that 1187, right? So that the maximum power is uh, should be is less than 1187 because for 600 is 1187, for 400 is 781. So I think is around 1000. So we will check now. What what is the uh, exact maximum power per 500 watts? Uh, now we can see that. Uh, yeah, the exact maximum power is 983.9 watts. Okay, for 500 watts per meter square. So here you can see that the so power is around 983.9. Okay, for 500 watts per meter square. So for 1000 watts per meter second, the maximum power is 2000 watts. Okay, for 500 watts, the maximum power is around 983.9 watts. So this is a PV panel voltage. So this is mind and arrow 120 volt. So here you can see that uh, the PV panel current for 1000 watts per meter square is around uh, 17 amps, right? So here you can click the, this one, yeah, 16.2, right? So here you can see that for uh, 1000 watts per meter square. Uh, the current value is 16 okay for 500 watts per meter square the current is around 8 times right so 8 or uh, yeah 8 times so here you can see that so for 1000 watts per meter square the current is around 16 amps for 500 watts per meter square the current is around 8 amps okay so this is a variation of uh, PV voltage current and power with respect to change in radiation. So here you can see that so this is uh, a battery voltage is keep on increasing, right? And also you can see that uh, uh, battery current. So here you can see that battery current is negative. So negative means nothing but that means uh, uh, battery is charging condition, right? So the charging current is for 1000 watt per meter square the charging current is around uh, minus 40 amps so when that uh, irradiation change to 1000 watts per meter square to 500 watt per meter square the charging current change to minus uh, 20 amps okay so depending upon the power in the solar panel the charging current will be going to be change in the system Okay. So here you can see that the, this is the variation of uh, uh, SOC of battery. So SOC of battery is keep on increasing according with the charging current. Okay. So initially it have some slope, right? Because of minus 40 amps current. But after after changing radiation from 500, so 1000 watts per meter square to 500 watts per meter square. So you can see the, the slope of this curve, right? So the slope will be reduced, right? So this is because of change in radiation. So you can check the model with the different irradiation condition also. So I'm going to change this model. So initially I'm going to make 1000 after that I'm going to make 800. Okay. We'll check the model result. For 800, the maximum power is around 1595 watts right 1595 watts we'll check that one 
after five second radiation change from thousand to eight hundred here you can see that so it's around uh, thousand six hundred right not thousand six hundred is around thousand five ninety five ninety okay so for this 800 watts per meter scale also the pv panel extract the maximum power based upon the pn algorithm as well as the because of change in uh, irradiation from 1000 1000 watts meter square 1000 watts per meter square to 800 so you can see that the uh, charging current variation right and also you can check the same response for a change in temperature also so here i'm going to use change in temperature in temperature so initially i'm going to make a temperature is 25 degrees celsius and then i'm going to change the temperature to 15 degree so after five seconds the change will be occur in the system <coughs> Here that irradiation fixed at 1000 watts per meter square, but temperature is changed from 25 degree Celsius to 15 degree Celsius. So here you can see that because of change in temperature, if temperature reduced, what happened to that uh, maximum power extraction is going to be increases here, right? You can see that variation. So because of change in temperature from 25 degree Celsius to 15 degree Celsius, so what will happen? The maximum power point will be increases here right so next you have to see the value for that particular condition so i'm going to take temperature 25 and then 15 degree here and then i'm going to check the maximum power point so here you can see that for 25 degree celsius at 1000 watts per meter square Sorry. is 2002 right but for 15 degrees celsius you can see that the power value is increases because of decreasing temperature in the solar pay panel is around 2079 okay so next you have to check this detail in the uh, result So here you can see that is around 270, right? 270 is 275, right? Yeah, it's around so 272, right? So for the change in temperature condition, also the panel uh, extract the maximum power because of that uh, inductive solar charge controller, and also you can see here, right? So because of increase in uh, uh, sorry decrease in temperature change in temperature from 25 to 15 degree that means solar power will be increases maximum power will be increases because of that uh, the current charging current of the battery also is this here right so this is the working of uh, pv battery charger based upon sita converter with the uh, mbbt solar charger controller so thanks for watching this video and also subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos so you can download this model in my website so this is the official website for that uh, lms solution on youtube channel so you can download this model here okay and also one notification one uh, information for you that mean announcement so we are going to conduct two workshop so one workshop is based on bd control for dc pc converter so this is matlab workshop right on uh, june 20 2021 and also you plan to conduct another workshop so workshop title is wind energy power day ev charging station so this is a matlab based workshop so this will be planned at uh, june 13 2020. So, if you are interested, kindly book this workshop. Thank you. Thank you so much.